Hey, greetings, greetings everyone. Uh, my name is Dolens. I'm here to present a table of markup and vet. So, um, I hope it's going to be helpful. So I'd like to ask you to subscribe and like on my YouTube channel. I'd like to ask that you subscribe and like on my YouTube channel. So this is the table and I'm going to make sure that you understand better the, 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 the markup and vet table very much better. OK, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to assist you with markup and vet, right? So I hope it's going to be a very much fruitful session. So please do not forget to subscribe and like my YouTube channel and all the videos and all of that that I post because this is for your benefit to subscribe. It's free to like. It's free to watch. It's free to learn. It's free now, right? So let's do so. OK, so I'm going to start with A. I'm going to start with letter A to answer. So it's going to be easy. Remember, I said to you this course price is exclusive of VET. The markup, you just have to check CP mean represent markup on course price and then SP, it's a markup on selling price, right? So I'm going to start with A to answer A, right? So. When I answer A, ne? when I answer A, I'm going to start by markup. Markup is on cost price, right? And we are given a markup percentage of 50. Okay, we are given a markup percentage of 50%. Right, so let's go and see. So the markup on cost price says, that is the principle that I'm going to mention here, says when the markup is on cost price, the cost price is equal to 100%, right? When the markup is on cost price, the cost price goes to 100%. And your selling price is going to be cost price plus markup, you'll get your selling price. So that means your selling price is going to be is going to be equal to 150%. 150%, right? 150%. And when we check, we are given a cost price of 100 rand, right? So this cost price of 100 rand, it's equal to this cost price of 100 rand is equal to 100% markup on cost price, right? It's equal to 100%. 100 rand is equal to 100%. And we need to calculate what? We need to calculate the selling price, okay? So in order for us to get the selling price, we're going to take the 100 rand that we're given of the cost price. The 100 rand that we're given of the cost price multiply by um, 150% of the sales that we're looking for. And then we divide by 100% of the cost, 100% of the cost, right? 100% of the cost. And then we will get our, we will get our, we'll get our selling price, right? So let's see how much our selling price. 100 divided, 100 multiplied by 150 divided by 100. It's giving me 150 rent. 150 rent. It's our selling price. 150 rent. It's our selling price. Okay. It's 150. 150 rent. 150 rent is our selling price without bed there. So 150. There we go. So that is our. That is our, our markup. No, no, that, that is our selling price, right? That is our selling price exclusive for VET. So if we, and then we need to calculate VET amount today. VET amount is, says our VET is equal to 15%, right? Our VET is equal to 15%. Our VET is equal to 15%. And our marked price, it, it, it means selling price with VET, right? Selling price that includes inclusive 
that is inclusive of that. Okay, so let's go and calculate our um, let's go and calculate our um, vet amount. Our vet amount. So our vet amount is going to be uh, uh, one hundred and fifty. It's going to be one hundred and fifty multiply by 15 percent right 15 percent divided by 100 which is the percentage of the selling price that is exclusive of that okay so divide by 100 divided by 100 and then let's see how much is it it's equal to let's see 150 multiply by 15 divided by 100 you get 22.5 round off to the nearest one rent or whole number right i'm getting 22.5 and then when i round off it's going to be equal to 23 rent so your markup your vet amount there is going to be equal to 23 rent 23 rent okay so your mom it's going to be 23 rent today okay uh, 23 rent, this is 150, 150 rent, and then this is 23 rent, okay, this is 23 rent, right, so let's go to C, to C, to C, the answer for C, let's calculate the answer for C, let's go there and calculate the answer for C, the answer for C can be 150 plus a uh, vet there, selling price plus vet, right? But if I were to use 150 to get vet, I mean to get vet inclusive, I'll just, my calculations will be 150 multiplied by the percentage of the inclusive selling price, which is 115, right? So 115, divided by a uh, hundred divided by a hundred okay which is the percentage of the exclusive then it's going to be equal to let's see 150 uh, multiplied by 115 uh, divided by 100 the percentage of the bet exclusive then i'm getting uh, i'm getting 173 I'm getting 173. Some maybe you get 172.5, then you round off. So my my marked price of that inclusive amount is going to be 17 173 rent. 173 rent, right? 173 rent. Okay. And then I need to calculate my profit there. I want to calculate my profit there, right? I want to calculate my profit there. So my profit is going to be, my profit is going to be 50 rent because I can say 150 minus 100 rent, then I'll get 50 rent of my profit, right? My profit is going to be 50 rent. My profit is going to be 50 rent. My, my profit is going to be 50 rent. Or, I can use markup to calculate my profit. So my profit is cost to markup there, right? The percentage of markup is 15. Eh? So I can just say um, uh, 100 rand of the cost price. 100 rand of the cost price, right? I multiply by 50. I multiply by 50. And then I divide by 100 which is the percentage of the cost price and then 50 is the percentage of the markup or the profit so let's see how much is our profit is going to be 50 right it's an obvious transaction i guess this one most of you you can get it on your own then it's 50 50 right okay so that is your profit right and then now let's proceed let's proceed let's proceed um, if I check on transaction number two, which is E, F, R, and G. It's, let's start with G. Let's start with G. 
Mr. G. Um, already we are provided cost price there, and then uh, we are provided. Let's start with E. Right? Let's start with letter E. There we are provided with cost price. Uh, but I want you to I want to start here. I want to start from the from the marked price and calculate. Um, yeah, let's start with the marked price. Let's calculate our VET and then we calculate our VET selling price exclusive, right? So let's start with F there. In order for us to get this, let's start with uh, F. We're going to start with letter F there, right? So let me erase this calculation from the previous uh, transaction and start afresh and start afresh, right? So um, remember, we're going to calculate the VET name from VET, from VET intrusive amount from here. We go there to F and then we go to E. So let's start with F actually. So it's going to be uh, my 405, which is my marked price or selling price VET intrusive or or, or selling price inclusive of VET, right? And then I'll multiply by, I'll multiply by, I'll multiply by 15, I'll multiply by 15, and I'll divide by the percentage of the VET inclusive, which is 115. I usually would say the amount I have in rent, multiply by the percentage for the amount I'm looking for. I'm looking for the amount of VET in rent, right? I get a percentage percentage there. I have percentage there, right? And then I'll say the amount I have in rent multiply by the percentage for the amount I'm looking for. I'll divide by the percentage of this amount that I have, which is 115, right? The 15, I don't have the price. I don't have the rent value is the one that I'm looking for. Okay. And then the 115 is the 115% is equal to 405. Therefore, let's see. It's equal to how much is our VET amount? Let's see. It's going to be 405. 5 multiply by 15 divided by 115. I'm getting 53 rent. I'm getting 53 rent. I'm getting 53 rent. Okay, so it's going to be 53. If you're getting 552,8, just round off to 53. Just round off to the nearest whole number of rent, which is 53. So I'll come here and write 53. Rent. 53 rent. That is 53 rent. Okay. And then I'm going to calculate selling price exclusive of VET. So selling price exclusive of VET is equal is going to be equal to 405 multiplied by multiply by a hundred, which is the the percentage for the price in rent that I'm looking for. And then I'll divide by, I'll divide by uh, uh, one one five. I'll divide by one one five, which is equal to, let's see, uh, four o five multiplied by one hundred uh, divided by one one five, right? Because four o five is the amount that include VAT. Then I'm going to get, um, I'm getting uh, five three five two. Point seventeen. Then I will just say three, five, two, three hundred and fifty-two rent. Okay, three, five, two rent. Three hundred and fifty-two rent. Right. That will be my selling price exclusive of VET. So let's test if this two five one is correct. Let's test if that cost price is correct. That cost price is correct today. I'm going to use this 352 with that. Ne? Let's see. I'm just testing if this is right. Ne? So I'm going to say um, the amount I have, remember, uh, we, or maybe let me start this way that you're used to, which is cost price. It's on cost price, the markup, and then um, selling price. Okay, and then you know guys that when the markup is on cost price, the markup 
from cost price, the cost price is equal to 100, 100%, I mean to say, and then you are given a markup of 40. You are given a markup of 40. You are given a markup of 40. You are given a markup of 40%, right? You are giving a markup of 40%. And, and then, um, then selling price is equal to is going to be equal to cost price plus your markup there. So your cost price, your selling price, I mean, is going to be 140. It's going to be equal to 140 percent. It's going to be equal to 140 percent, right? So now we need to calculate what the cost price, right? And test if the cost price is right. What do we have? We have the selling price of uh, 352, okay? 352 rent selling price. Okay. So we need to calculate the rent value of the cost price. Okay. In order for us to get the, 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 the rent value of the cost price, is going to be equal to 352 multiplied by uh, 100 because it's what I'm looking for. And then I'll divide by uh, the 140 percent of selling price which is equal to 352 in rent and then how much is my cost price in rent let's see 352 multiplied by 100 uh, divided by 140 i'm getting 251 that's correct so this 51 is correct i was just testing this one if it's correct so i'm getting that which is equal to uh 251 rent okay. sure. so we are fine with uh, 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 um, uh, in transaction number two we are only in transaction number two we are only left with the profit so the profit you can say selling price exclusive of vet minus your cost price day let's see how much we're getting let's see how much we're getting three five two minus two five one I'm getting 101 rent, 101 rent, 101 rent, 101 rent, 101 rent, okay. 101 rent today, right, 101 rent today, okay. And then usually I would like you to utilize these calculations. My profit is cost 40%, which is markup, right? So I want to calculate that 40% in rent. I'll just come and say uh, 532, no, 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 uh, 352. Sorry for that. It has to be 352, which is your cost price. I mean, your selling price without VAT, which is your selling price without VAT. I'll multiply by um, percentage of 40 and then I'll divide by the percentage of the selling price, divide by the percentage of the selling price, which is 140. Let's see how, if I'm, 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 I'm going, if I'm going to get that 101. Remember we got that 101 by saying selling price minus cost price day. Selling price exclusive of VAT minus cost price. But now I'm testing with another, with a different method because there's many ways to kill a cat price. So you don't have to suffer but I prefer this one the most, the one that I'm doing now. So it's going to be 352 multiplied by 40, divide by 140. And then I'm getting 100.5, which is going to be rounded into a whole number, then it's going to be 101, right? So the answer is 101, right? Okay, the answer is 101, right? Then we are good. We are done with, uh, uh, um. Transaction number two, let me raise this. We are going to transaction number three. We're going to transaction number three, right? So let's see. Transaction number three. Let's go to transaction number three. Let's see how does this work. Transaction number three. Okay, transaction number three. They gave us transaction number three. They gave us 
percentage of markup that we need to calculate, a percentage of markup that we need to calculate, right? So it's an easy one. And I know people seem to be scared and say, what is this? What is happening? So here, the markup is on cost price, and we need to calculate a percentage of the markup. How much is the percentage of the markup, right? So it's easy. The formula to calculate this selling price, I mean, this markup percentage, the formula to calculate this markup percentage is going to be selling price minus cost price, minus cost price, and then we divide by cost price. We divide by cost price, and then we multiply by a hundred. We multiply by a hundred. We will get our percentage of the markup there, right? We'll we'll get the, our percentage of the markup right there. So let's see if this is gonna work. Ne? We are going to see how much our selling price is given. There is three six four zero. I mean three six four rent, right? Three hundred and sixty four rent. So you are going to say three, six, four, multiply by, no, no, not multiply by, you're going to say three, six, four minus, three, six, four minus your cost price of 280, your cost price of 280, your cost price of 280, and then you divide by 280, which is your cost price. And then you multiply by a hundred. You will get your percentage of the markup here, right? So you're going to say selling price, which is your three six four, right? Minus your cost price, which is two eighty. And then you divide by two eighty, which is your cost price there. And then you multiply by a hundred. Let's see how much are we getting our percentage there. Let's see how much is our percentage right there. It's going to be. Uh, uh, 364 minus 280, 280, and then we do, and then we divide by 280. We multiply by a hundred. We are getting 30 percent, 30 percent, 30 percent, 30 percent. It's our markup percentage. 30% is our markup percentage right there. 30% is our markup percentage right there. Okay. And then we can proceed and calculate our VAT, our marked price, and our profit, right? So let's start with our VAT there. Let's start with our VAT there. Let's start with our VAT right there. Okay. So our VAT is going to be 364 which is our selling price exclusive of that, right? And then we multiply by 15. 15, we divide by the percentage of the selling price exclusive. The percentage of the selling price exclusive is equal to 100. So how much are we getting there? Let's see. 364 multiplied by 15, divide by 100. Okay. I'm getting 55. I'm getting 55 rent. I'm getting 55 rent. That is the 55 rent. It's our um, it's our vet, right? 55 55 rent. It's our vet. Okay, so our vet is equal to five rent. 55 rent. Okay, and then we need to calculate our marked price. We need to calculate our marked price. So our marked price. It's going to be equal to three six three three six four of the selling price exclusive. Um, multiply by uh, multiply by one one five because we're looking for one one five rent value divided by the percentage of the selling price vet exclusive, which is hundred. How much are we getting right there? Let's see how much are we getting right there. How much are we getting right there? Let's see. It's going to be three six four, mm, three six four multiplied by one one five, and then you divide by a hundred. I'm getting uh, four hundred and nineteen. Some of you will get four one eight point six. Just round off to the nearest whole number or to the rent to the rate one rent. 
down off to the nearest 200. That is going to be a whole number of um, 419 rent. Okay, 419 rent. It's going to be our marked price. Our marked price, which is uh, 419 rent. Okay. This is going to be that. So yeah, and then now we want to calculate our profit. So our profit, we're going to use our selling price exclusive and cost price exclusive, right? It's going to be 364 minus 280. I'm getting 84 rent, right? 84 rent, it's our 84 rent, it's our, our profit. But we can also calculate it like, um, let's see, three, you can say your cost price amount of 364 multiply by the percentage of the, the percentage of the markup there is 30. So you can multiply by 30, which is the percentage. Of the profit, the percentage of the pro of the mark, the percentage of the markup is, 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 is the percentage of the profit as well. Né? So divided by um, 130, 130. Where did I get this 130? The, I know that can be the question. Where did I get this 130? Remember when markup is on cross price, the cross price is equal to 100. And then my markup, which is the profit percentage, is equal to 30, as we calculated. And then our selling price is equal to cost price plus markup, right? Our selling price is equal to cost price plus markup. So that's where I got this 130%. Okay, so these are percentages. These are percentages. These are percentages. So yes, um, that's where I got 130 and that's where I got 30. Okay, so I'm going to get, uh, it's going to be 364 multiplied by 30 divided by 130. I'm getting 48. 48. So this is the 48. That's how we can get our 48 or you can just say, 364 minus 280, you'll get you 84 of the profit, okay? And then let me move to this transaction, transaction number four, transaction number four. So with transaction number four, the first thing that I'll do is get my cost price, right? The first thing that I'll do, I'll get my cost price, right? Let's see how I'm gonna get my, my cost price here. Let me see how I'm gonna get my cost price, right? So remember the markup here it's on as it as it on cost. The markup there was not provided whether it was for cost price or, or what, but I see okay it's for cost price. I was just checking that the markup is on cost price here. So the markup is on cost price here as well. So I need to calculate my cost price. I also need to calculate my selling price, and then I'm gonna calculate my VAT and my marked selling price or my marked price, which is selling price VAT inclusive or inclusive of VAT. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'm going to do markup as usual. As I'll say, for the cost price, I'll determine the markup percentages first. Markup, markup there, markup and then markup and then selling price there, right? Up there. Okay. So look, ne? um markup is provided is 50 there, right? Markup is provided is 50%, right? 
the same as number one there you see so you remember the principle says when and markup is on cost price, the cost price is equal to 100%. Okay, and then you remember that selling price is equal to cost price plus markup, then you will get your selling price. So 150, 150%, that's our percentage of the selling price. Yeah? And then now I need to go and calculate my, my cost price there. What is it that I have? I have the rent value of 244 which is for the 244 which is for markup in rent or profit right i have profit there of 244 which is called to 50 rent i mean 50 percent of markup i have 244 rent which is equal to 50 percent of markup right so i need to calculate the cost price so in order for me to calculate the cost price i'm going to say two i'm going to say two hundred and forty four rent multiply by uh, 100 of the which is the percentage of the cost price divided by the percentage of the markup which is 50 divided by the percentage of the markup of profit which is 50 okay so i'm going to say two 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 four four multiply by 100 divided by 50 so i get a, 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 a cost price of i get a cost price of 488 cost price of 488 so i'll go here come here and record my thing which is going to be 488 rent right that is my cost price there this is the calculation 244 of the markup or the profit multiplied by 100 percent of the cost divided by 50 which is the percentage of the markup or the profit, then I'll get 488 rent. Okay, so that is your cost price. From now, I can use my markup to calculate my... Okay, some of you can just say cost price plus markup or profit in rent, I'll get my selling price, right? But I prefer this one. You don't need to calculate selling price. For us to calculate selling price, we're going to say 244 rent, right? 244 rent, 244 rent, multiply by, um, multiply by 150, which is the percentage of the selling price, divided by the percentage of the markup, which is 50, right? I'll get my selling price. So let's see how much there. 244 multiply by 150 divided by 50 i get 732 i get 732 i get 732 so it's going to be let me start this side it's going to be 732 okay and then um i'll come there and say 732 rent 732 rent okay or I can just say 488 plus 244. I will get 732. Cost price plus markup, remember, cost price plus markup is equal to selling price or cost price plus profit because markup is equal to profit. Né? So you can just work like that. 488 plus your profit is going to be give you selling price, right? So now I proceed. I'm going to proceed and calculate my VAT. So to calculate VAT, I'm going to use this, the selling price exclusive of VAT, which is 732. So I'm going to come here and say 732 multiplied by 15, divided by the percentage of the selling price exclusive of VAT, which is 100%, and then I'll get my VAT. So let's see, multiply by 732 multiplied by 15 divided by 100. My, my VAT is equals to 110. It's equals to 110. My VAT is equals to 110. So if I need my marked price, if I need my marked price, I can just say 732 plus 110. I'll get my marked price. So I can say 732 plus 110 
I'll get my market price of eight eight four two. Or I can also calculate that. I can just say seven three two multiply by uh, multiply by one one five and then divided by the percentage of 732, which is 100% there. And then I'll get my, I'll get my, I'll get my market price or selling price inclusive of Fed in that case. Okay, so let's see. 732 multiplied by 115, I divide by 100, I'm getting 8. Or 1.8, which is be, which is, which will be converted to the whole number, or will be rounded off to the whole number. Then it's going to be 842, right? So we are done with transaction number four. Let's go to transaction number five. Transaction number five, we are given. Transaction number five, we are given a uh, uh, vet, right? So we can. We can start by calculating our selling price exclusive or selling price inclusive or market price, right? So I would advise that we start with um, I would advise that we start with the market price, right? Let's calculate the market price. Letter U there. Let's calculate the market price. Okay. So it's going to be like this. This one. Uh, we are given twelve thousand. 913, 913, 12,913 multiplied by um, the percentage of the market price, which is 115, and it's what we're looking for in rent. We divide by the percentage of the VAT, which is 15. The percentage of, of, of 12,913 is 15. And then how much are we getting there? Let's see. 12913 multiplied by 115 divided by 15. Okay, divided by 15. I'm getting I'm getting 99000 because I'm getting 98000.6. So that it will be converted to or rounded off to a whole number which is 99, which is you nine nine zero zero zero. That is your marked price. That is your marked price. And then in order for us to get the selling price here, we can just say the marked price minus. You can say the marked price minus the vet. They will get this one, right? Let's see. So we can say nine nine triple zero minus twelve. 913. I'm getting 860 rent, right? I'm getting 86, 86,087 rent, right? There, right there. Okay. All right. So but I, I I can we can also we can also get it like in this way. We can just say twelve nine one three multiply by what is the percentage of the selling price exclusive of that is hundred. We will multiply by hundred, and then we will divide by the percentage of the vet, which is fifteen. Right? You will get your Eight eight six zero eight seven. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. One two nine one three multiply by one hundred divided by fifteen. Divided by fifteen. I'm getting um, eight six zero eight six point six. Then I'll run off the whole number is going to be eight six zero eight seven. So this one is correct. OK, so markup again. We're going to use markup again to calculate our 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 cost price day. Letter S day, right? Letter S day. Remember. Remember. When the markup is on 
selling price because here the markup is on SP. Can you see that? So in the markup it's on SP, the SP is equal to 100. If the markup, if the markup it's on, it's on selling price, then the selling price is equal to 100%. Okay, so when the markup, if if the markup is on selling price, the selling price is equal to 100%, okay? So markup, our markup is provided there in the table, it's equal to, it's equal to 44%, okay? It's equal to 44%, right? So now, um, we all know that cost price plus markup is equal to selling price. So in this case, we must reverse this transaction back. So our cost price is going to be equal to 100 minus 44. In this case, when the markup turns selling price, we start from the bottom, we go up, but we are minus C, right? So our cost price is going to be equal to uh, 54. I mean 56, the cost price is going to be equal to 56%. Okay, so that is how we determine the markup percentages when the markup is on selling price, right? So now we are given the selling price. Can you see that? We are given the selling price of, we are given the selling price of um, 886,087 rand. Hey, so we need to calculate what? The cost price, okay? So we need to calculate our 56% in rent. Our 56% in rent is going to be equal to our cost price of 86,087 uh, multiplied by, uh, multiply by 56, multiply by 56% divided by the percentage of the selling price, which is 100 which is this amount of 86,087, okay? So we're gonna divide by 100 today, okay? So let's see how much it's our cost price. Let's see how much is our cost price. Um, 86,087, 86,087. Then multiply by 56 divided by 100. I'm getting... I'm getting uh, 48208, 48209 actually, 09, 48209, in order 48209. So we also need to calculate the profit today. We also need to calculate the profit. So to calculate the profit, you can say, you can say the selling price of the selling price exclusive of VET, which is 86087 minus uh, 48209. And then it's equal to your profit, which is 37878. 37878 rent, right? 37878, right? You can say this minus that, or you can calculate it actually. You can just say your selling price of 86087 multiply by uh, multiply by the percentage of the markup or profit, which is 44. You divide by the percentage of 86087, which is 100. Let's see how much is our profit. Uh, 8687 multiplied by um, 44 divided by 100. So I'm getting the same amount of, of 37878. 37,878. That is your profit, right? Let's go to transaction number six. Let's go to transaction number six. Transaction number six, we are still given markup on selling price. We're still given markup on selling price, and we have to calculate our selling price exclusive of VET, our VET, our marked price, and our profit, right? 
So let's start with selling price exclusive of that. That's where we're going to start, right? And remember, we have to determine the percentage of each and every item there. We have to determine the percentage of the cost price, the percentage of the markup is provided. That one is provided and then selling price. And then remember, when the markup is on selling price, the selling price is equals to 100%, okay? And then markup is provided, there it's equal to 25%, right? And then um, cost price. Cost price is equal to selling price minus markup there. That means our cost price in percentage there is equal to 75%, right? So now we are provided with the cost price. Can you see that? So it means we are provided with the cost price. The cost price in rent, the cost price in rent is equals to 2,035 rent, 2,035 rent, okay? So we need to calculate the selling price, right? So we're going to say the amount in rent of the cost price multiply by the percentage of the cost price, which is 100. You divide by the percentage of the cost price, which is 2035. So you'll get your, you'll get your cost price day. I mean, your selling price day. You get your selling price. I meant to say, you get your selling price. So let's see how much your selling price. 2035 multiplied by 100 divided by 75. You'll get um, 200 and 2000, I mean to say 2713. Your selling price exclusive of that is equal to 2713. So it is here. See, it is here. So you come here and say 2713. Right, okay. 2000. I mean, 2,713 rent, that is your selling price exclusive of that, okay? So now we need to proceed and calculate the, our VAT. Our VAT, we're just going to use our selling price exclusive of VAT, which is 2,713 multiply by, multiply by, multiply by um, 15, divide by the percentage of VAT of exclusive amount divide by the percentage which is going to be your 100 day divided by divided by 100 okay and then how much is your vet day how much is your vet amount 2713 multiplied by 15 divided by 100 divided by 100 i get 407 I get 407. That is my vet, 407. 407. 407 rent is my vet. Okay. And then I'm also going to calculate, and let me raise this. I'm also going to calculate my, my vet. My selling price inclusive of that or my marked price, right? So it's going to be. I can. I. I. I'm gonna use. Uh, um, I'm gonna use my selling price exclusive amount. So okay, I'm gonna say four zero seven multiply by uh, multiply by one one five because I'm looking for one one five in rent. One one five is the percentage divided by. No. I'm going to use my selling price exclusive, okay? Selling price exclusive is 2713, yes, 2713, that's correct, sorry. And then I will divide by the percentage of 2713, which is 100, right? And then I'll get my, I'll get to my, uh, what's that, 2713 multiplied by 115, divided by 100. 
I'm getting um um I'm getting um how much is that? I'm getting a three hundred three thousand one hundred and twenty three thousand one hundred and twenty. It's going to be your marked price here. It's going to be your marked price here three three one twenty. It's going to be your marked price there. All right. So I need to calculate the profit, right? In order for me to calculate the profit, I can just say this. Selling price effect exclusive minus the cost price. Minus the cost price, I'll get my profit there. Let's see. 2713 minus uh, 2035. I'm getting 6. I'm getting 678. Right. Okay. Or oh, I can use the markup. Remember, I can use the markup. I can use the markup percentages. CP um, markup, and then selling price there. Remember, markup is on selling price. The selling price is hundred percent, and then uh, your markup is provided there. It's twenty-five percent. And then your cost price is going to be equal to 75%. Right. So I can use uh, my percentages there to calculate this one. So I'm going to use your selling price VET exclusive amount. Né? I'm going to use the selling price amount of 271, 2, rent. Like two thousand, two thousand, two thousand uh, seven hundred thirty to calculate your profit there against two seven one three multiply by, uh, multiply by, multiply by twenty five percent. Then I'll divide by the percentage of selling price, which is hundred, right? And then I see how much I'm gonna get. How much I'm gonna get? So two one two seven one three multiplied by twenty five divided by hundred. I'm getting seven six six seven eight six hundred and seventy eight. Right? Okay. So that's how. That's the other way that you can utilize to calculate your cost price on transaction. I mean your your profit. That is the another way of calculating your profit when you are. On transaction number six. Okay, so let's go to transaction number seven. Transaction number seven, we need to calculate firstly the, the percentage of the markup, right? And markup is on selling price. Markup is on selling price. And we need to calculate, we need to calculate the percentage of the markup on selling price okay so when you want to calculate the percentage when the markup is on selling price the formula is selling price minus cost price divided by selling price multiplied by a hundred multiplied by a hundred let's see let's follow this how much is your selling price there is eleven thousand 465, 11,465 minus our selling price, I mean minus our cost price, right? Our cost price is 8,026, right? 8,026, right? So, and then we will divide by our selling price. Our selling price is 11, uh, 11, 4, Six five eleven four six five, and then you will get, and then you multiply by hundred, multiply by hundred. Therefore, you will get your percentage of. You'll get your percentage of the markup. So let's see eleven thousand 
465 um, minus the price of 8026 and uh, divide by the 11465 11,465 you multiply by 100 I'm getting a percentage of 30 I'm getting 30 percent right I'm getting 30 percent okay that is your percentage of markup on selling price that's how you get it please get the formula right remember when the markup is on cost price and you are looking for the percentage you divide by the cost price when the markup is on selling price uh, the base becomes the selling price when the markup is on selling price and when the markup is on cost price you're looking for percentage the base becomes the cost price i think this is easy okay but you need maybe to watch this open and you know, practice and practice and practice and practice that's the only way you're going to get it okay so we are done there we we can proceed we can proceed to the next item so the next item that we need to calculate is VAT, right? So in order for us to calculate VAT, we know we're going to just say 11,465, 11,465 multiplied by 11,465 multiplied by 15, multiplied by 15 divided by 100. How much is your Bet day. 11465 multiplied by 15 divided by 100. Your vet is equal to 1720. 1720. 1720. And that will be your vet amount okay that will be your vet amount and then when you need to calculate vet i mean selling price inclusive of vet or marked price to calculate your marked price you are just going to say 11465 multiply by 115 is the percentage of the marked price right divided by the percentage of 11,465, which is, which is 100, right? Here we got, sorry, here we got 1,720. And then let's calculate the marked price there. It's equal to, let's see, it's going to be equal to 11,465 multiplied by, 115 divided by 100. This is going to be, I'm getting 13, 1, 185, 13, 185 rent. 13,185 rent. That is your marked price. So if I want to get the profit, I can just say 11,465 minus 8026 the cost price, right? I can just say this selling, this selling price minus the cost price. I will get a profit of profit of 3439. That is our profit. 3438 went 3438 okay and then that is your profit or you can use a mockup like i did with other transactions you can use your mockup percentages and you'll be able to get your profit i'm going to proceed to or maybe I should do this one. I should do this one. So, okay, let's do this one using the markup percentages. Ne? Using the markup percentages. Okay. 
So we are going to So here, in order for us to calculate this amount using the percentage, remember your your selling price goes to be 100 because the markup returns selling price. And then you are given 30% that we calculated of markup there. And then a selling price, I mean, cost price is going to be 70%. So 70%. 70%, okay. So, um, um, let's calculate, let's calculate our profit utilizing the percentage. Remember I said profit is, is the same as markup, like profit is cost to markup percentage, okay. So the percentage of the profit is 30, okay. okay. So let's use maybe the cost price. Let's use maybe the cost price of eight, to 8026 multiply by uh, 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 30 divided by the percentage of the cost price, which is 70, which is 70. So let's see how much we're getting there. 8026 multiply by 30 divided by 70. I'm getting uh, 3439. Three, Three four three nine. Let's see three four three nine. Let's see. Let's prove that. Uh, let's see eleven four six five minus eight zero two six. Yeah, that's correct. I made a mistake and put three eight there, so it's three nine. So it's correct. Three four. You see, sometimes when you are doing your test, it's good that you must uh, uh, verify. You see, now when I'm verifying, I'm getting 3439. So the correct answer is 3439 because I verified with both my thoughts. Okay. So let us go to the next transaction, which is the last transaction, transaction number eight. On transaction number eight, we are given the profit. Can you see that? We are given the profit. We are given the profit. And what we can do, since we are given the profit, what we can do is that let's start by calculating the cost price day. Let's start by using the profit to calculate the cost price day. Okay. Remember, markup is on selling price. Markup is on cost here. Okay. That's easy. Markup is on cost price. Markup is on cost price. When the markup is on cost price, the cost price is equal to 100%. And then, um, uh, what's that? And then markup, it's equal to markup, it's equal to um, 44 cent, right? And then selling price, when the markup is on cost price, we're just going to say cost price plus markup, right? So we will get our selling price of one one four four percent right one four four percent and then when it's like this when it's like this um, when it's like this um actually no no actually let's use this as markup on selling price not cost né? because we did the same thing up there let's use this when the markup is on uh, um, selling price. Okay, let me make our markup to be on selling price, not cost, okay? so that we can balance this side and know everything, right? Let's say the markup is on selling price there. So, cost price markup, then selling price, right? Yeah, let's say the markup is on selling price. And we know when the markup is on selling price, the selling price is 100%. And then um, our markup is given this 44%. And then our um, cost price is going to be equal to how much? 100 minus 44, 56, right? Same. 
and that is 44% there. Then, yeah, let's use this when markup is on uh, selling price. Né? So you are given the profit. The profit is equals to 44% and in rent is equals to 102. Right? So now we need to calculate the cost price. I said, let's start there. Né? Let's start on calculating cost price. So it's going to be 102 rent multiplied by 56, which is the percentage of the cost price divided by the percentage of the profit or the markup, which is 44%. How much is our cost price? Let's see. 102 multiplied by 56 divided by 44. I'm getting 130. I'm getting 130. 130 130 I'm getting 130 as my cost price right so let's see let's see how much is our selling price our selling price is going to be 102 102 multiply by 100 divided by the percentage of the profit or markup 102 multiplied by 100, right? 100 divided by 44, which is the profit, the percentage of the profit or marker. Then you'll get your selling price. So let's see, 102 multiplied by 100 divided by 44. I'm getting a selling price of 232. I'm getting a selling price of 232. 232. 232. 232. 232. I'm getting a selling price of 232. And then I can proceed and calculate my marker. Up the, I mean my my vet. I can proceed and calculate my vet. I mean to say, so let's see. Let's calculate our vet. Let me raise this. Let's calculate our vet there, right? So our vet is going to be two three two multiplied by fifteen divided by divided by um divided by 100 right yes divided by 100 let's see how much you're getting there 232 uh, multiply by 15 divided by 100 i'm getting a a vet value of a vet value of 35 rent i'm getting a vet value of 35 rent 35 rent okay a vet value of 35 right okay if i need to get the marked price i can just say 232 plus 35 right okay? then I'll, i'm getting two i'm getting uh two six seven right two six two six seven right okay? so yeah and then if I want to calculate in terms of the, the formula of calculation there, I can just say two, three, two, multiply by one, one, five, divided by 100, divided by 100, divided by 100. It's equal to, let's see, just to prove, just to verify, I'll say 232 multiplied by 115 divided by 100. Then I'm getting 226.8, which is when we round off, is going to give us 267, right? So it's going to be 267, right? Then I'm done. And then, yeah, that's all. If you want to confirm the profit there, take the selling price, 
minus the cost price, you get 102, and then we are done. I think that is very easy. That is very easy. Please don't panic. Just relax. Practice nicely if you are new to accounting, and you will get everything right. Just follow my steps. Thank you.